Welcome back to College Conversations. I'm Dr. Fedor and I help you navigate college. Please remember to hit subscribe and share this video with other students who might find it helpful. I have many students email me asking me about careers in criminal justice and how they would get started. Today, I have with me attorney Caroline Murray and Dr. Kurt Ward, professors of criminal justice, to talk about careers in criminal justice and what that entails. What kind of degrees are preferable for a student who wishes to pursue a career in criminal justice? So to a certain extent, that's going to depend on what they want to do. When you say criminal justice, that can mean a lot of different things because it's really an interdisciplinary field of study. So for example, if you want to go into law enforcement, work in the court systems, work in corrections, in a traditional sense, then a criminal justice degree would be what you wanted to pursue. But if you wanted to do something more specialized, for example, if you wanted to do something in forensic science, you would not major in criminal justice. You would major in one of the hard sciences, biology chemistry. It's one of those fields that can be very general mm -hmm. and you can take a generalist approach to, or it's one of those fields where if you're interested in a specific aspect of it, you would want to pursue that aspect. It's not unlike wanting to teach high school. You don't necessarily go after an education degree to teach right. high school. You specialize in math, social studies, something along those lines. And then the education comes after that. What careers are growing? Like, what, what is there going to be a greater demand for in the field of criminal justice? What positions will be in greater demand? There is a, a huge demand for law enforcement. Okay. Uh, for a number of reasons. There will be a huge demand for correction. So right now, along with a lot of other fields involved in working in the pub, with the public, whether it's in healthcare, uh, criminal justice, or even some of the other service industries, there is a big demand for people who are interested in the field and who can meet the qualifications for the field. Attorney Murray, can you comment on women in the field of criminal justice? Well, here at Elms College, you probably know that we have quite a few women. They compromise most of our classes are comprised of women. And in this day and age, women can basically do absolutely anything within the criminal justice field. So there will always be room for women in policing slash law enforcement. We have been very lucky to assist our students to get into the, within the sheriff's department, which is countywide in Massachusetts. And they seem to really love the correctional aspect of it. Anytime we go to a, a women in criminal justice conference, I would say probably a good 80% of them are from corrections. Wouldn't you say, Kurt? They're, they're from the local areas. There are some police officers as well, but yeah, and there are quite a few women interested in probation. That's another area. So what I'm hearing is there's quite a variety of career paths within criminal justice. What is some advice for a student who's looking to sort of explore careers in criminal justice and isn't sure where to begin? Can I well, one of the you? things they can certainly do is they can certainly... You know, contact one of us and have a conversation with one of us. And we'll be happy to talk about you know, what is available and, and explore with them a little bit some of the things that they're interested in. One of the other things that you can do with some departments, and it has come back a little bit now that we're post-COVID, is some police departments will have what they call citizens academies. And they have the opportunity to participate in a 68-week course with their local police department, who will introduce them to the various aspects of policing and to the various aspects of that specific department. So there's ways to just, you know, reach out and talk with various individuals, whether it's Caroline or myself in terms of the education requirements and the career opportunities, or their local police departments, or even uh, some of the other agencies they might not think about, the courthouses. And, and if I might add as well, uh, we have quite a few guest speakers that come into our classroom, and that's all, always a wonderful opportunity for students to have a chance to speak with these professionals within this field, get some more information. There's also internships, which are extremely important. 
the, the way our program is set up, students get a taste of pretty much all the areas within criminal justice. And then sometimes they just automatically tend to like one more than the other. But I think what really cinches it is when they do their internship. So we have a 150 hour internship, which is pretty much common with most um, colleges in our area anyway. And they will get in there and they'll either love it, which is great because now they know what they like, or they may not like it, which is also great because now they know that this is not what they want to do for the rest of their lives. But most of our students, they get the internship, they get that hands-on experience and um, they're quite happy. They might be a little intimidated at first, but they're very happy that they did it because they now they have some experience, they can use it on a resume and they, they have a better understanding of what this area within criminal justice is all about. Professors, thanks so much for your valuable advice. Any, any last pieces of, uh, of advice for students? It pays very well, and there's so many opportunities, particularly in corrections. Professors, thanks again for valuable advice about criminal justice careers. For more detailed help navigating college, check out my Udemy course, College 101, How College Works. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep learning.